In the fetus, the lungs are not the source of oxygen. The placenta is. And so when blood passes through the abdominal aorta and then passes through the iliac arteries in the hip region, there are umbilical arteries in this region which then branch off and enter the umbilical cord, which passes from the navel through the umbilical cord to the placenta. The deoxygenated blood, which arrives in the placenta from umbilical arteries, then becomes oxygenated as it drains into the umbilical vein. The umbilical vein then passes through the umbilical cord, through the navel, and then as it passes through the body, it goes through this ductus venosus as it passes through the liver. It will then fuse with the inferior vena cava, and this oxygenated blood will enter general circulation. In adults, there is no longer a ductus venosus. Instead, it has formed the ligamentum venosum. So the ductus venosus is only a fetal structure.